story tonight. One family finally getting answers about their daughter who disappeared in Colorado Springs nearly a decade ago. It's so sad. Law enforcement says they have found the possible remains of 19-year-old Cara Nichols. Her case has been cold since 2012. News 5's Natalie Chuck is joining us now live in our studio with the very latest. Natalie. Well, Diane, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office announced a forensic search in Black Forest, brought them to the remains, and they have made an arrest in Nichols' case. But the investigation into what exactly happened that October so many years ago continues. Sitting silently for nearly 10 years off of Burgess Road in Black Forest, the possible answer to a case gone cold. The search warrant was obtained. That search led to the recovery of female human remains. The El Paso County Sheriff's Department believes they found the remains of 19-year-old Cara Nichols, who was first reported missing in October 2012. Nichols, an aspiring model, told her friends she would be traveling from the Springs to Denver for a photo shoot and was never seen again. A cold case review was recently being conducted on this case as we do with all our cold cases, and a witness in this case was located and re-interviewed. There was critical information given in that in interview which provided a significant new lead. 46-year-old Joel Hollendorfer is being held on a $50,000 bond, charged with second-degree murder and tampering with physical evidence in connection to the case. While this is never the result any of us wants in a missing persons case, we hope recovering Kara and returning her to her family will bring some sense of closure and be of some comfort in mourning her loss. Now, the most recent post on a Facebook page dedicated to finding Nichols reads, We are writing to express our sincere gratitude and appreciation for all those who tirelessly gave time, money, attention, and assistance to finding Kara over the past 10 years. There's uh, been hundreds of hours worked in this case, dozens of search warrants executed, and numerous leads which have come in over the duration of this case spanning across the United States and Europe. Still, many questions remain unanswered. This is an ongoing investigation, and we will continue to work closely with El Paso County Sheriff's Office to seek justice for Cara and her family. The coroner is expected to make a positive identification of these remains in the coming weeks. If you have any information regarding this case, please contact the El Paso County Sheriff's Department. Rob, Diane. Not only thank you, a man wants